Here we're going to have a look at the problem of finding the shortest distance between two skew lines. On the right hand side we've got the solution, uh, but the left hand side we're going to start from scratch. So what we're trying to find is a, a distance from one to the other and the line segment is perpendicular to this line and it's perpendicular to that line. So the best way to approach this is first of all to put a point on one of the lines and right click ask for the perpendicular plane. This will be a plane that takes the direction of the line as its normal vector and the point as a position. Now, I can't really see what's going on, so I'm just going to right click, edit, draw options, and make that transparent. Round about half is pretty good. Ah, oh, that's better. OK, now this plane will meet the other line somewhere, so let's find that now. Select that and select the line and right click, intersection. OK. So it's this point here and this point here. That's the line segment that we're trying to minimize. So right click, let's draw a line segment there. Perfect. So now what I want to do is draw a perpendicular plane on the other line. So I'm selecting that point on that line and perpendicular plane. Fantastic. Now we'll make that transparent as well. Edit draw options. Transparent about 50%. That's fine. The, the thing I can move is this point here. And don't forget, let's bring the keyboard up so you can see what you're doing. If you press Control and drag, you can take a closer look at what's going on, which is really nice. Let's select this point and use the arrow keys. Now this will change the X coordinate of this point, this will change the Y coordinates, and up page, up and page down will change the Z. Uh, but in fact, because it's constrained to be on the straight line, it only has one degree of freedom, which is the X direction. Aha, uh -huh, right, so let's just see what happens. What we're trying to do is to find a line which is mutually perpendicular to both of the skew lines. So as soon as this point ends up here, I think we've done it. Uh, it sort of got there rather quickly. So let's do control and go back again more slowly. And there we have it. And you probably want the actual distance, uh, which is 1.7. Now let's just move out a bit. What we can do also is ask the computer to give us the correct solution as well by calculation. So I'm just going to select these two planes and delete them. Now if I ask for this line and this line and right click shortest distance it will actually do the calculation and I think it's quite useful to be able to really understand what's going on here. First of all I'm going to put a point at the top here because there isn't really a point there, it's just a measurement and a point there. So I want to make a one vector along here, create vector, and a vector along here, create vector. And then if I do the cross product, remember the cross product is going to be mutually perpendicular to these two vectors, which of course is precisely what we're looking for. So if I do this vector, and this vector, and this point, and right click, cross product. There we have the closest distance between two skew lines.